Hello everybody and welcome back to Cyber Gamer TV. Myself, Toby One Kenobi here. It's a beautiful, beautiful time of the day. I can even see the sun straight out the window. But we are here for the beautiful night time or even the draft time um, of our lovely world of Dota. Any, we are sticking with the boys. They are now going to go up against Soul Gaming, a game which we thought was cancelled, but is not actually cancelled. It's actually being played, which I believe is a farm for fame match we are now going into. Um, of course, I would not be here... Well, I could be here, but I'm not going to be here because it's better with him here. Slash, dude, you are my saviour when it comes to Dota knowledge, especially considering you're being pumped information by Kurokai, so welcome to the shoutcast. It's not Kurokai, it's Crooked. Never mind. Uh, he's no, a Bulgarian I, I, guy. I, I, talk, I talked to him about this. I talked to him. He actually, at first, when he first made his name, he intended to actually be called as Kurokai. Um, everyone just kept on, kept on pronouncing it as uh, Kuroki. Um, and then he ended up liking that a little bit more. So, he actually meant it as Kurokai. Ha ha! Can we get into the drafting phase now instead of fresh talking? Yeah, sorry, sorry. There you go. Now you can see it. <laughs> so to rub that and slash his face. Um, yeah, so any banning out so far. Batrider, Visage, and Doombringer. Uh, Soul have removed Invoker, Morphling, and Pugna. Why did decide to say Invoker before Morphling? I don't know, but uh, I did it anyway. And uh, Soul Gaming, by the way, if you're hearing that pop sound, it's very early in the morning and it's Red Bull time. Um, so Clockwork Goblin and VS have been picked up so far as well, Slash. Um, yeah, mm, yeah, and still AA is in the pool, I believe. Oh, hold on a second, which version are we playing this on? I think they switched the version, so it's... Every, every, um, I think it was 6.69C. 6.69C. Oh, okay, so, so AA is Auto Man again. Yeah. Fair enough. Ah, easy enough. Easy enough. Yeah, I was trying to remember the load screen. It's like, yeah, it wasn't the cool thing made by Kunker recently. Uh, it was his older one. Uh, looks like uh, we see Windrunner picked up by NE and uh, a CMES combination. So, uh, Soul Gaming going to be nice and aggressive. Obviously, NE, they're like, they've just played two pretty long games against DTS. Um, how do you think they're actually going to, like, as far as like stamina wise goes? Um, I don't know what they're like in bed. What are they like with Dota? I have no idea. I, um, I think that the and you guys, not eSports, they got loads of potential. Uh, we saw it last in the second game against DTS, um, being able to stop one of the uh, European powerhouses, even, uh, with unconventional picks as well. Soul Gaming is from um, Germany, I believe, and um, they are not very very known in the, in, in the scene, but uh, I, I've actually, they, they beat quite a few, um, from quite a few teams uh, along their way. And um, so they're definitely not one of those teams to be underestimated, but um, I don't know them quite well, i got to admit that. Mm. So this is also probably the reason that uh, Calculus is our captain for Nordic Esports, Banger Doombringer, uh, since he doesn't know if one of those guys from Soul Gaming is um, proficient in using, using the hero. Yeah. Well, I'm actually at the same level of knowledge as you. Actually, probably a little bit lower. Probably a little bit lower uh, when it comes to these guys. Uh, Wish not to now making the ban pool. So um, as far as like a complete summary of what's happened so far, Any have removed Bat Rider, Visage, and Doombringer. Soul Gaming have removed Morphling, Invoker, Pugner, as well as Witch Doctor. Uh, Any have picked up VS, Windrunner, and Alchemist. And Soul Gaming have picked up Clockwork, Goblin, CM, as well as ES. What I'm pretty sure we're not going to see this time around is another CM solo. I was going to throw that one out there. Um, yeah, we're not going to see that one. We're going <laughs> to see uh, Shaker. Shaker Maiden Trilane. It's one of the strongest Trilanes you can have, no matter what carry you're running on in the, in the lane. Yeah. That's still a weird... I'm still having trouble getting over that. The fact that uh, CM was run as a solo. Uh, it worked for him in the end, but... Yeah. He was like higher level than everybody else on the field, up to the point of mid-game when he was overtaken by Luna. And even then his CS score was higher than everybody else on the field, until overtaken by Luna. So we've got Shadow Priest as well as um, Razor being banned out too. Shadow Priest is an interesting band to actually throw out to it. Obviously Shadow Priest would make it so you could never kill Alchemist. Um, they're still banning him over other heroes. Interesting to actually see that actually happen, especially in 6.69c. Like, there are so many other fantastic heroes which have not been picked up. We've got Pugna, we've got Broodmother. Even throw a drone. No, a bad. Oh, sorry. Never mind. Uh, we don't have a Pugna. I completely take that back. <laughs> uh, Enigma still in the pool. Your favourite. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I love Enigma. 
That's right. They've got Tide Hunter too. Actually, I'd rather see an Enigma than a Tide Hunter. I do get very, um, yeah, depressed whenever I see a, um, a, um, a bad Enigma. More depressed when I see a worse Tide Hunter. I just hate, like myself, I get frustrated when I play Tide Hunter because I can't get myself into the battles fast enough. Like, you can splash yourself off and then you like, sit there going, you want to do now? It's, I splashed. Anchor. Anchor. What else have we got? I got a Ravage. Oh no, I'm not level 6 yet. Because <laughs> I'm playing support in the lane, which means I'm not level 6 until 15 minutes in. Yeah. What rule are you normally playing in pubs? Are you playing support? Yeah, generally. Generally. Um, can't last hit to save my life. So, don't put my life on the backing of my last inning. So. <laughs> yeah. Lion's still in the pool. That, that he is. That he is. Lion was pro probably actually a pretty good pick for any too, if they can... Because obviously SF's going to be soloing up that mid lane uh, for Soul Gaming. ES and CM go support in the lane. Probably, well, they wouldn't be babysitting Clockwork Goblin. Clockwork Goblin will be by himself and use his rockets to try and save the battle. Um, but we'll have one more carry here to pick up from Soul Gaming. Uh, but as far as NE's lineup actually goes, Windrunner, same job as Clockwork Goblin, uh, VS and Alchemist. Depending on how they actually want to play it, um, Alchemist can go full on carry, um, or later on carry. We'll just wait and see. Um, but uh, yeah, how are they actually going to go with these lineups? I think that's why they're actually eating into the extra time because even like at the moment I'm looking at it, I don't know what they're going to do. Lich. They go Lich. I, I bet and he's going to pick Lich up. Are you going to um, get Lich? Alchemist, Al Al Alchemist's only weakness is his low armor and Lich just solves it. Mm. Also, they, they are in need of another support hero anyway. Venno. So Lich would be a, be, be, be a good choice. Um, Venno. Yeah. Yeah, but black Venom hole, black hole, so dick hole comes up with 100% uh, potum. Hasn't got it yet. <laughs> I just actually want to say his name. That's just like a freaking awesome name. <laughs> We're gonna see people making up like random using names on CGTV just to see what kind of random crap they can come up with. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Unless he actually goes by that name, at which point that's very depressing, dude. Uh, but yes, anyway, sorry, slash Venomanson picks up his fourth for any. Um, let's see what Soul Gaming going to pick. They're going to pick uh, the Kyrie. Um, so, so the guy who's going to lane with Maiden and Shaker. Um, if you ask me, but that's just me, but I would like to be, see a Spectre being picked here. Mm -hmm. Spectre, Spectre wouldn't be yeah. too bad, and it'll be, it'll be a good late game carry as well. Definitely, it's just uh, it's secure in late game, and um, good against um, nearly all, all of the um, any heroes. Um, I would be babysat by CM and ES anyway, so... <laughs> It's literally and they, and free they still fun. play aggressively. Um, yeah. they, they can still play aggressively with Spectre online, so hmm. I would like to see that Spectre pick. Yeah, well, maybe Soul Gaming is currently listening to you going, oh, maybe we should actually do that. Might be a good idea. I think it might be a good idea. Let's go with that idea. Um, they got 60 seconds to actually come to that conclusion, so eh, we'll wait and see. Um, as far as NE's got right now with, with uh, Venom, and so I'm just trying to think about like their lanes and who their last hero is going to be. Obviously, it's going to be one freaking hard carry. Um, well, actually, would you? Would you at this point? With uh, Alchemist and Venomancer, uh, would you play Venom as, as um, pure support, not as, a, not as a DPS hero? I kind of like DPS hero as Venom, sorry. Um, how, how would you actually go with the NE lineup? And, like, obviously, someone's got to go solo against SF in the mid. How are you going to go with that? It's, um, it, it, it depends what, what they pick. It, it depends what they pick. If they pick a carry, it's obvious how they're gonna lane. Um, it's they're basically just revealing the, the the lineup, and then you can 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 do it accordingly. I think putting a Windrunner soloing against an SF is definitely a good choice. Um, Windrunner has the edge over SF uh, in the early levels. Mm. Looks like Necrolite will be our last pick for Soul Gaming, so their completed lineup will doesn't, be. Doesn't doesn't surprise me. That really doesn't surprise me. Necrolite obviously a good counter to Alchemist. I've been actually my second guess. Um, what are they going to pick up? Necrolite is definitely a good pick. Also, Windrunner is annoying to bring down since the physical DPS doesn't quite work against mm. her with a sort of run. So, uh, Necrolite solves that. Shall but I mainly, mainly Alchemist. Mainly because of Alchemist. I love the person who actually threw Zeus out on the IRC chat. It's, a, it's probably not going to be the best pick for her, but as far as like actually going up against SF in the mid, wouldn't be a bad option. And you can down Necrolite... Um, because someone's got to be raw damage up against him. Not a bad option. No CM aura for him though, so it's not going to be too happy about that. 
Um, but as far as Annie's lineup goes, it's going to be bad. The person who actually said Techie's incoming is just completely nuts and bonkers. Um, <laughs> love you, dude. <laughs> Go, Dino. Um, but yeah, Annie's lineup, we're about to find out anyway. 17 seconds to actually go slash. Yeah, um, I'd like to see Lion Solo mid, maybe. Lion Solo mid or Lich as a support and then Pippin putting Windrunner mid. Potom! Many options. 100% Potom comes through! Aha! Aha! Oh, you gotta, be, you gotta be kidding me. He actually got it right. 100% <laughs> Potom <laughs> is actually the truth. Ah, oh, go figure, huh? <laughs> Let's watch this rocket and see what it sees as well. Lane's coming out, VS, yeah, Windrunner, and Alchemist there, and probably caught the edge of Venomancer going towards the bottom. It's not gonna, we're not going to see the biggest change up here from Sol, because I thought they might be moving out, and they're going, oh, hang on, let's switch our lanes up. Um, looks like uh, Fohu uh, wants to put it, I don't, I don't think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, <laughs> should I just miss the shout-out too? To E-Zone, if E-Zone is listening in, congratulations, dude, you got yourself a shout-out. But uh, let's have a look at these lanes and who's got what. So Link playing as Windrunner. He uh, plays as, as the first game uh, in, against DTS. Uh, we'll probably be going up towards that top lane to solve it up. Uh, we have um, Host Pot. <laughs> Pentia. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. H Pot uh, playing as our Vengeful Spirit, hanging around just uh, around the Ancient Neutrals. Uh, Kalk, he played our SF last time. We'll be playing as Potom this round. Uh, Smesk playing as Venomancer. He was, he was Venomancer last time? Uh, he was, he was indeed, yeah. yes. He was playing as Venomancer last yeah. time. Yeah, and BLS. Balsam said, playing as Alchemist. Is he ba Balsam? Balsam playing as Alchemist. Balsam, yeah. Bal Bal Balsam on Alchemist, Calculus on uh, bottom. So, which leaves Vengeful Spirit, the host bot, being Oji. Well, I don't know how the fuck you actually. Sorry, excuse my language. Uh, how you it's pronounce French. this guy's name? It's French. It's it's spelled it's spelled O O J J E. So, whatever. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, we're gonna call you C M for this battle. No V S. Sorry, yes, not C M. That'd be kind of confusing for everyone. Um, all right, let's look towards the top lane. So, uh, in fact, C M herself uh, up there on the top. Uh, R Z R. I'm guessing Razor. Um, <laughs> Damn it. Up uh, there on the top lane. I hope you joined by, uh, by 715. Um, oops, hang on. Oh, I gotta. I actually forgot I actually had to save. I'm glad you said that one. Uh, 715. There's our SF on the top lane, yep. and ES will be pulling uh, in the hands of Rita. Mid lane will be your solo Necrolite. So Necrolite going up against Potom in the middle lane, so no SF there, uh, obviously. And uh, bottom lane will be a Clockwork Goblin all by himself up against the dry lane. So he will probably not venture past that river for a very, very long time, Slash. Mm, maybe he's going to try to farm with Rocket, but um, on the other hand, it pushes the lane. So <laughs> it's sort of a double-edged sword. Um, I'm still surprised that it didn't put SF mid. I mean, bottom is not really a counter to SF, but you're still, you're still being fairly comfortable if you're SF. Um, going up against mid, mid against the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, on the other hand, it's more dif more difficult for Necrolite to lane against the bottom because um, bottom just has has the mobility to well, to to harass Necrolite back. And uh, in the early levels, um, Necrolite doesn't have any mana to uh, to to continuously heal. Mm. On the bright side, however, Obviously, though, the, the second he pops level six, if bottom's been harassed down enough, um, then it's just a simple slice and it's like dead. So, it, it'll work, but Necrolite's one of those heroes I like. Oh, look, actually, oh! Kalk is taking a lot of, Kalk is taking a lot of damage just there uh, by Fohu. It's just like he's like stood and took it. Just so stood and took it, just like our Clockwork Goblin now being forced back here. Oh, all three heroes just die past the tower. Plague Wars will go down, hold the creep wave back, so they can just damage on this tier 1 tower right now. Clockwork Goblin actually don't think he's going to be too sad about it. Too sad about this one, because um, even though his tier 1 tower is going to be harassed, you bring that down, everything's going to be a lot nicer, and it looks like SF gets first blood on the top lane. So, uh, actually, Link got the first blood. Woo, hello. 